on today's Sailor Spotlight, we have Opti Sailor Thomas Rice. Thomas, welcome. Huh. Hi. So, um, Thomas, you, you've been uh, kind of tearing it up on the Opti scene this past year. Some really good results at nationals and at, at team trials, getting ready for Orange Bowl coming up um, next week. How long have you been sailing the Opti? How long have you been in sailing um, in your life? Well, I've been sailing the Opti for seven years now. My first couple of years was at Salonica Yacht Club in New York. And for the last four years, I've been sailing with Peter Strong on Sail Strong Youth Racing. And tell us a little bit about that, that program that you're sailing, sailing with. What, what does Peter Strong and that program do for you and, and to get you ready for these regattas? So, uh, Peter, every weekend we practice for eight to ten hours, Saturday and Sunday every weekend until the winter where we fly down to Florida and we practice down and store it with them. And it's pretty vigorous practice and we just have fun. That's that's cool. That's a lot of time on the water though. Does it ever get tiring or do you ever feel like you're you're burnt out and you don't want to go sailing? No, no. He always makes it fun and interactive and it's just always a good time. What have you learned in the last year? You've been especially successful the past um, this past season. What what's kind of brought your your sailing level up in the past year? Well, I've been learning how to do more fleet management and you know pushing to that top of the fleet now. Just working more on speed and strategy and how to overcome obstacles. So there's never a bad race, just consistency and stuff like that. Um, as I said, we've got Orange Bowl coming up in in just a couple days now. It's one of the bigger events of the year. It always draws a ton of boats and a ton of really good talent. Um, if you could give some advice to, to maybe some of those more middle of the fleet uh, sailors who are trying to get up to that level and be the at the top of their fleet, um, what, what kind of practical advice can you give them for coming up to a regatta like this? One big advice would be don't get intimidated. There's going to be a lot of boats out there in the starting line and you just have to be aggressive. Don't get freaked out. Just get on that front line. Go. Obviously, we talked about the time commitment that you put in to, to be as good as you are. Um, what is it about sailing that has got you hooked? Why, why do you love this sport so much? Well, I grew up around boats all my life, and one day my parents for Christmas gave me an Opti, and I went to sailing camp, and I loved it right away. Just like the wind and the waves, and the, pe the friends are great. And just clicked. Excellent. Uh, any other um, specifics on uh, on Miami or, or sailing in Florida, or is it the same everywhere you go? I like Florida a lot better than a lot of other sailing venues because, you know, there's usually always a consistent nice breeze. And, well, obviously the weather's warm. It's more enjoyable sometimes. Are there any tricks to sailing fast uh, in that venue? Um... You just have to be careful about the puffs, always watch out, and clouds can be a big factor. Hmm. So, uh, give us an example. If you, if you see clouds on the course, what does that mean? What can you do with that information? Clouds bring pressure. So, if you see a big front coming, you sail towards the clouds, and there'd usually be a puff there, and tack in the puff and cross the fleet. All right. Well, I know you've got uh, a few more days with Peter before Christmas and then right into the um, right into the regatta. So best of luck this week and we'll be watching you. Thanks. Thanks so much.